as well. So we're here in the sporting venue. Let's talk a little sports for a second because we got the sports director with us. The Spash Boys cross country team in the last 46 years has won 12 state championships. And what is that, nine runner-up finishes? Nearly half of them. I would say that that's pretty good. And it's all because of one man. That's Don Banky. And his accomplishments define this program from the outside, but his impact on the athletes goes well beyond any success on the course. Carson, 20. Isaac, 17. Winning has never tapered for Spash Cross Country. Six, seven. But ask any runner who's ever put on the uniform, there's one constant to that success. Don is just probably the greatest person I know. He just is relatable, relational, empathetic. I mean, I, I could go on and on and on for hours. A few hours is just a sliver of time compared to Don Banke's 46-year tenure at Spash. After the starter gun fired on his career, it took him only three seasons to win a state title. But Don's philosophy surges past winning. I learned pretty early on that it's not really about the workouts. It's about the belief that the trust that athletes have to have in their coach. So Banky put that motto into stride. He complimented athletes after races and ensured win or lose, the runners were recognized for their work. If anybody sees me after a race, they'll see me go over to the kid who ran the worst race. That's the first kid I talk to. And I want him to know that I still appreciate the fact that he went out there and tried his hardest, even if he failed. The results fell into place, but Banky still cared more about the runners wearing the bib. It was make sure guys felt that they were a part of something special, make sure they felt valued and appreciated. Don, over the years, nurtures you and teaches you that, like, hey, like, you know, no, it doesn't matter how good you are, your worth is outside of the sport. I care about you as a human. Thousands of athletes have run through the Panther program with Banky supplying each one with a special touch. It's not as much a coach as more it is a, a mentor who truly listens to you, who, who truly cares about you, even past running. Don always was a, a father, second father figure for me. Just the, the wisdom and guidance and just cool, calm and collectedness that he always displayed has, has been a lasting impact on me. The formula continues to work in year 46, with the Panthers claiming their 12th state title under Banky last season. I think the things that I taught and, and preached back in the 70s and 80s, I think they're still valid today. And 46 years later, Banky is still keeping his pace because what matters most is the athletes, not the trophies. Now, they're the favorites this year <laughs> to win their 13th state well, title under him. Yeah. Banky also calls him the best group he's ever coached. Now, he wanted me to mention this as well. He's had a co-head coach for the last 20 years. Kevin Hopp used to run under him. He credits him with extending his career at least 10. And I think you'll like this note. When he started coaching, the guy who recruited him over to Spash, yeah. Wayne Steffenhagen, who was, no at, he was down there just before he went to D.C. Everest, of course, had a long career coaching that football team. And Coach Steph, what a legend. His his coaching tree just branches out even more. Yes. Yeah, I mean, two legends, absolute legends yeah. in their respective sports. Well, he's been doing this for 46 years now. Coming up a little bit later in the show, we'll introduce you to John Hartman. You've no doubt seen some of his work. He's been doing this for almost five decades. What keeps him going? We'll explain coming up a little bit later in the show. Hey, the Pointer women's basketball team is just taking the court. If you want to come out here and check out the Pointer